Tigger's tree-climbing adventure the sun was shining brightly in the hundred-acre wood, and a soft breeze whispered through the trees. In the heart of the forest, Tigger was bouncing high into the air, feeling more bouncy than ever. The morning was perfect for some good old-fashioned Tigger fun, and bouncing was his favorite way to start the day. Look at me. Look at me. Tigger called out as he soared high above his friends. Rue watched in amazement as Tigger leaped higher and higher. Wow, Tigger, Rue exclaimed, clapping his little paws. You're bouncing higher than the trees. Tigger landed with a thud and grinned proudly. Of course, that's what Tiggers do best. We bounce. But Tiggers don't climb trees, do they? Rue asked, tilting his head curiously. Tigger puffed out his chest, feeling an adventure coming on. Well, Rue, maybe we don't climb trees. But there's always a first time. With a determined gleam in his eye, Tigger looked up at the tallest tree in the forest. It stood proudly, its branches stretching high into the sky. Tigger crouched down, ready to leap. The great climb with a mighty bounce, Tigger launched himself towards the lowest branch of the tree. His paws gripped the bark tightly as he hung there, wiggling his tail for balance. See? Climbing trees is easy-peasy for a Tigger like me, he boasted, looking down at Rue, who was cheering from the ground. But as Tigger tried to bounce to the next branch, he realized something. Climbing was not as simple as bouncing. His paws slipped, and he found himself dangling awkwardly, his tail twitching in confusion. Hmm, maybe Tiggers don't climb trees after all, he muttered, trying to pull himself up. Down below, Rue giggled and waved. It's okay, Tigger. Maybe you can bounce back down. But Tigger was determined. No, no. Tiggers never give up, he said, though his grip was slipping by the second. With a nervous gulp, he reached for a higher branch, but suddenly, whoosh. Tigger slipped, flailed his arms, and began tumbling down through the branches, each one giving him a gentle thunk as he fell. His bounces weren't helping this time. Oh, dear. Tigger stammered as he rolled down the last branch and landed with a soft plop right on his bottom. A helping hand, Rue rushed over to help, his little face full of concern. Tigger, are you okay? Tigger shook his head, dazed but not defeated. Of course, I'm okay. Just testing gravity, you know. And well. It works. Besides, bouncing down trees is something only a Tigger can do. Just then, Pooh and Piglet appeared, curious about the commotion. What's going on here? asked Pooh, nibbling on a smackerel of honey. Tigger was trying to climb a tree, Rue explained excitedly. But then he fell. But he's okay. Piglet looked up at the tall tree and shivered a little. I don't think I would like to climb a tree that tall, he whispered. That's because you're not a Tigger, Tigger said, bouncing back onto his feet. Only Tiggers could even think about climbing a tree. Pooh nodded wisely. But Tiggers don't usually need to climb trees, do they? Tigger scratched his head. Hmm. Now that you mention it, Pooh Bear, no, I guess not. Bouncing is much more fun anyway. The friends laughed together, and Tigger, though a little sore from his adventure, bounced happily around, proving once again that bouncing was truly what Tiggers did best. Tigger's new idea later that day, as the sun began to set and the sky turned a beautiful pink, Tigger came up with a new idea. You know what we need, he said, bouncing in excitement. A Tigger Adventure Club. We can go on daring missions like bouncing contests and maybe even try climbing smaller trees. Rue, you can be my assistant bouncer. Rue's eyes lit up with excitement. Oh, that sounds like so much fun, Tigger. Can we start tomorrow? Absolutely. Tigger replied with a grin. Tomorrow, we'll bounce higher, farther, and have even more fun. And with that, the friends headed back home, their hearts light and full of happiness. After all, in the Hundred Acre Wood, every day brought a new adventure, and with friends like Tigger, there was never a dull moment. As for the tree, well, Tigger decided it was best left for the birds. Bouncing, after all, was much more Tigger-like.